of course, it dovetails China, North Korea, and Russia. Growing tensions there. Yesterday, Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered to expel 755 U.S. diplomats over the latest round of sanctions against Moscow for its alleged election meddling. Vice President Mike Pence condemning the move this morning during his overseas trip to Estonia. At this very moment, Russia continues to seek to redraw international borders by force, undermine democracies of sovereign nations, and divide the free nations of Europe one against another. Under President Donald Trump, the United States of America rejects any attempt to use force, threats, intimidation, or malign influence in the Baltic states or against any of our treaty allies. John, it's about the annexation of Crimea. It is about the military activity in eastern Ukraine. But it's also Russia's support for Bashar al-Assad and right. the election right. meddling. Right. Now, this is... Yeah. The, the, their recall or, or putting a cap on American diplomats in Russia, that's a face-saving measure. The real problem is they don't like the vice president over there in Latvia, Estonia, etc. They don't like the fact that we're, we're increasing our energy production and going to sell them more energy so that Europe is not dependent upon the Russians. So this time what happens is if they go into one of these countries, Europe has an energy source. They don't have to worry about Russia shutting off the gas. And at the same time, we, we can then help our allies. And the president, to his credit, the vast majority of Americans support him on him strengthening NATO in that they have to put up their own share. It can't just be the United States. So now you've got the vice president over there showing that we're with the allies. We want everybody to contribute. You want NATO to get ready. That's what Vladimir well, it's Putin also, is also Wait it's one second. It's also the sanctions in broad bipartisan support. Right. Sanctions against Russia, North Korea, and Iran that were passed last week, which, again, we, we rail against the Congress repeatedly mm -hmm. um, everywhere, I mean, this program and elsewhere. But this, is some, this was a serious message that the Congress sent to Russia, and a serious message potentially that they sent to uh, the White House. Yeah, no question. I, well, I, I could say, say I'll, I'll are, are we on. really in a position to, to challenge Russia's energy position in Europe? I mean, they have so much infrastructure in place. They have all these pipelines in place, and, you know, we have to turn our natural gas into liquefied natural gas and ship it over there, which is a complicated and expensive process. It just seems like... They're, they're pretty intense on that, uh, entrenched on but that. But we do put pressure on the price by yes. the very fact that we pro are producing so much more than we did a few years it's ago. It's a global market. And one thing I've got to say, I've got to back up. Having been on the Trump campaign, all the stuff about Russia is nonsense. I mean, literally. No, I wasn't, tell you, talk I, no, but, I wasn't but, talking about. But that's why about... they did put the sanctions in place, right? No, they put the sanctions in place against Russia, as I said. It wasn't just election meddling. It was Bashar al-Assad, right. and it was the annexation right. of the Crimea and the military activity in the Ukraine. It was Russia's been up to a lot of no right. good, right. not a little no good. Right, right. And but and President Trump looked. You know, I hate the way that he's talked about Vladimir Putin on and off again has been favorable and then not well, favorable. So I think I he think has to own he has to own the way that he's talked about. Right, Putin. it's like the same thing with China, where and Russia, where he tried to be nice in the beginning, and he's they're not accommodating us. So now we're going to get tough. But the the problem that makes Russia different is the fact that they say they meddled in our election. Okay, so they meddled it. now. By the way. Besides having worked for President Trump, where I think that is a fantasy by Hillary Clinton to explain her loss. The second part is I worked for Prime Minister Netanyahu, and President Obama did have his operatives over there, and they did right. use taxpayer I, dollars. I wasn't, I, I wasn't, so we should I, sanction ourselves on that one. They meddled so in the election. Like, I'm not talking about yeah. the, the narrative of collusion, which the Democrats are still hanging their hat on. John, good to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me here.